In this video, I'll show you how to save a logo as SVG on Squarespace. This is gonna help your logo look wonderfully crisp compared to a scaled down PNG. Squarespace doesn't support SVG file types, but there's a workaround and I'll show you how. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to show you how to save a logo as SVG on Squarespace. As I mentioned, why might you want to do this? Well, when you're scaling down a PNG, it can sometimes look a little bit fuzzy, as in this example for a client project that I'm working on right now. So I'm going to give you a code snippet. It's going to look like this. I've also put it in the description below so that you can easily copy and paste it. The area highlighted in blue is where you would enter your own URL. So now that you've got the code, I'm going to show you where to put it. In your Squarespace website from your dashboard, you're going to click on Design. You're going to scroll down to Custom CSS. Okay, here you'll see I've already added some custom CSS for this website. I'm going to go to the bottom or wherever you want to go and paste that snippet that I just gave you. So right away, you'll see... I pasted it with the link to the logo that I had already uploaded on this site. The first thing, if you've not already uploaded the logo file, the SVG file, you wanna click here, custom files, add it here, okay? Once you add it, you click it, it generates the URL that you can paste in this little spot. But right away, you'll see here, it's looking way crisper, way cleaner than the PNG scaled down that I was able to upload to Squarespace. I don't know why Squarespace doesn't allow you to have SVG logos yet, but this workaround will certainly work for you in the meantime. So that's how you save a logo as SVG on Squarespace. The CSS for this is below in the description. Note that for this to work, you need to be on a paid Squarespace plan. If the logo disappears after you've added the code, there's a good chance it's because you're on a trial version. Upgrade, then the code will work and the logo will show. If you've got any lingering questions, put those in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing through a few videos that I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. And those videos are coming up next.